Hey, we're going to get rolling here today. As you can see from this planning progress report, corn is right at average, uh, beans ahead of average. It's going to be an active week in here this week uh, of planting. And so, you know, you just got to say, hey, there's no, no planting delays in here right now. Um, and that's where we've seen some pressure in the market. But, you know, as you take a step back and you look at new crop corn and beans, you know, I mean, it seems like corn wants to hold uh, these corn, this 520 area, you know, the beans in the 1250 area. So, you know, the big question as we move ahead is do we have some hold for prices rallying and and what i have here is what we talked about last friday and even on the bottom of the report a, a, a table on what the insurance price is and then the march to july high and then how much the market has moved and i guess the one year we want to go towards here is 2020 as you can see that march july high was basically at the exact same price it was a, just a penny less than where our february insurance was else every other year you know we've had a spring summer rally that's gotten well above our feb insurance price this year's feb insurance price was 591 on december corn okay so you know to, to us in here what we believe that there is some upside potential in this market and that we can get you know a, a price move in here um the big ranges have been from an unchanged move in 2020 to a big jump of a, of more than 37 percent that's it would be a bit of an extreme but even if we just have a normal rally back to 10% above that February insurance, that could get us to 650 on corn. You know, that seems fairly high right now, but with the spec selling, if they decide to come in here and buy based off of weather, we could get a push back up. The March high that we had on December corn contract was the 575 area. We think that would be a target in here right now on a bounce on this market for December corn. As we get over to beans, it's really a setup the same way. We always get a chance to sell the insurance price in the March to July time frame. As you can see, the rallies here varied from unchanged basically to a 34% rally in 2016. But just like corn, you can figure in about a 10% rally. The thing we need to really point out though on beans though is that the March high in this November bean contract was at 1386. So we have already gotten above that February insurance price when it's been set. We still think that this bean market can bounce to us their support in here in the 1250 area. We think a pushback to the 13 and a quarter to 1350, even 1375 would be a realistic target if we have a little bit of a weather spark. We want to wrap things up today looking at the wheat market and we know wheat has been gotten beaten up here recently. We've been in a steep downtrend. The specs have been selling this, but what's just odd sitting here right now is U.S. soft red winter wheat is the cheapest wheat in the world being offered for summer delivery at six seventy four a bushel. I mean, we're nearly set sixty cents, seventy cents below Russian wheat offers. We're forty cents below French wheat offers. Soft red winter wheat is even cheaper than corn in some feeding regions. I mean, we just got an odd situation there. You have to respect the spec selling but you need to acknowledge they're short right now 113,000 contracts, which is 565 million bushels. Last year, the total soft red winter wheat crop was 337 million. You're fighting a trend on this market going down right now in Chicago wheat, but I gotta tell you, we think the Chicago wheat market has got good value in here at these current price levels. Volatility we expect to continue in here, Energy markets are getting a big hit today, but we still believe it's a long growing season and some better pricing opportunities for producers are going to be ahead of us. Have a great day.